Topper two and Dan Rice in the area. He's over the fire with a bird's eye view right now. Dan, what do you see? And Maurice, we can show you that large area that was burnt by that fire. The CSX line that we're talking about, that railroad line, that's where you see that car moving through the center of your picture. That's where that train came through. And when the sparks came off those wheels, came off of those tracks, it went into that brush that sits over here on the west side of the tracks. Now, John Elliott was talking about it earlier. It did not come down on the bottom side of your picture. This train line acted like a fire break. And you can see where that fire did spread up through all of this brush over here. But it's all those homes that they were concerned about. That that's old Havisherall Road back there, and you can see just how dangerously close that fire got to these homes. We're going to bring the camera back into you to show you. Most of these homes, they all escaped uh, any type of damage that we can see from the air over here, but there is one home in particular we have been looking at that got a little too close to the fire, and you can see there's a frame of a burnt-out shed there, and all that siding that melted on the upper floor of the house and even back by the deck area. That's the most damage we've seen. The good news, as we heard, no injuries as a result of this, and firefighters are getting a handle on this in just the last hour. Most of the smoke has dissipated. Still just a little bit of brush burning over here by the railroad tracks. Reporting live in Chopper 2, Dan Rice, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dan, thanks so much.